Yeah, g'day boys and girls. How you going? It's Mike from Bloody Red Rope Access here, Australia. WA. Mate, I'm going to demonstrate a sanding in the descender, passing knots, descending in your ascender, and passing knots again. Okay? So same, same as always, uh, best practice, backup device on first, on your, on your secondary uh, point of attachment. My primary is going to be my descender, right? So this time, it's a little bit different from obviously climbing your ascender. So I'm going to grab that tail of that descender, and I'm going to use my leg. Everything's same again, everything comes from your leg. I'm going to step up and pull the slack through this descender like so. Okay? Relax. So I'll be being relaxed, right? Back up device next, nice and high. I'll send it up, hand the sender up, grab that tail, coming out of your descender. Once again, it's all the leg, and get step up. Okay, all, all I'm doing here with my hand is I'm guiding that rope through, that's all it's doing. Right, back up, up to the knot, hand the sender, up to the knot. So I've, I've now climbed as high as I can climb before, before I in the knots. Now what you might ask, why would there not, not be knots in the rope? So this, this could be demonstrating damage rope. I've tied an alpine butterfly here, and this could be a demonstration of damage to the ropes. So I've isolated damage ropes, okay? So my next step, as always, best practice, I'm gonna attach my second backup device above that knot. Now I've added that second point, second backup, I can now remove my initial backup. Add a point, take a point off. Okay, so my next, next move, I'm gonna remove this hand ascender, I'm gonna move it above this knot. Okay, the sender is still below the knot. I'm just gonna take up that extra 100 mil. 100 mil in rope axis is massive. Okay, so if you can take 100 mil, take it. Okay, so now, my next step, back up, nice and high, so I'm waiting to step up above this knot. So my next move, I'm gonna open up my chest ascender. So it's ready to go, I'm preparing, okay? Next move, I want my chest ascender to land in here. So what I'm gonna do, get step up once again, my leg, step up, touch that rope, to my chest ascender, above the knot, sit down, relax, yeah? So now see that chip, you got a descender, is now no longer in use. So I'm gonna move that descender. Okay. I can now continue to climb this rope. Back up device, nice and high. Got that rope, climb like normal now. So we're now in our chest descender. Step up over your leg, okay? I'll go one more. One more. Right, my next move, okay, so I've now got to come down this rope. Um, so my next step, I'm gonna descend in my ascending device, okay? So it's a tooth device, so if I've got any load, if I've got any load on this chest ascender, um, I'm not gonna be able to open it up. So what I must do now, once again, my, 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 um, my leg, I'm gonna get ready to push, you'll, you'll notice when you're on your course, that on your, uh, on your chest ascender, you can push down on the mechanism. So I'm going to take the load off of there, I'm going to push down on that, and I'm going to come down this rope in my chest ascender. I'm just going to do it in reasonably small increments, 200 mil or so. Now I can reach up, take my chest, my hand ascender, down the rope, go. And I'm going to step up, continue coming down on my chest ascender. I'm never disconnecting from the rope, I'm merely just uh, descending on the rope on my chest ascender. Okay, next move, so I now need to pass this knot. So I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna attach my descender below that knot. Okay. Take up any slack. Right, so now I want to move from, from above the knot to below the knot. So I'm gonna do here. Once again, have that ready to go. So as soon as I take my load off this chest ascender, it's gonna open up. So once it, everything's from my leg, step up, open, remove the rope, sit down, nice and comfortable on my chest, on my descender. 
put out. Hand ascender finished with. Can I tidy that up? Touch to here. Right, so on the way up, remember my first my first point of attachment was my my backup device. On the way back down, it's the last. Okay, so now I have my second backup device below that knot. Now I can remove the backup device above the knot. So I'm always maintaining my two independent points of attachment. Bloody beautiful, mate. Now descend the rope. Job done.